Hi everyone. Does it seem kind of early for a 2024 planner video? I think so, but I missed out on this planner last year because by the time I even paid attention, which was probably around November or December, this one was already sold out. So I was determined this year not to miss it. I saw it on pre-order and when it came out on Amazon Japan, I jumped on it and went ahead and got it. So this is the earliest I have ever bought a planner. But this one really stood out to me um, because it reminds me so much of books that my mom had when I was a kid. When we moved from, this, from Japan to the States, she had dictionaries that were about this size and the little markings on the side were the alphabet. So in the for the English dictionary, she had the English to Japanese. It was the A through Z. Um, and her Japanese ones, I want to say like zigzagged. So, and the paper in this reminds me of Bible paper. It's that Tomoe, the Sanzen uh, Tomoe River paper. Um, but also it's not bright white. It is cream. So I thought I'd just show a few highlights of why I really wanted to use this one for this year. First of all, it has 768 pages. It's a monthly block and a daily on two pages. So I've really enjoyed using the A4 size, I'm sorry, A6 size more and more. Um, I've been filling up little A6 journals with notes um, and things like that over the past few years and I've really come to love this size. So I really wanted to try to tackle a planner next year that is going to meet all my needs in one spot. So they give this cute little bookmark and then also an explanation on how to use. And this is what I mean by all in one spot. So for example, right here is the, um, the time. So this is 4 a.m. And it goes from 4 a.m. to 4 a.m. So you have a full 24 hours. What I like about this is I can log my sleeping hours. I can log my working hours. And I work weird hours since I live in the States, but I work Japan and Singapore time. Um, so I have those early hours that I need. My, some students start as early as 5 a.m. And then also I have late students from 9 to 11 p.m. So this type of schedule works very well for me to keep track of my students. But not only that, there's certain blocks of things I need to take care of or log this year. For example, with my health and what's been going on, my doctors want me to keep a food log. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I really didn't want to be lugging around or having another planner around the house. So I was really looking for a planner where I could put everything in one spot. I also wanted to include more of my list of gratitude items, um, things that I'm thankful for each day. Um, that's something I wanted to list. Of course, we all need a to-do list for day to day. So I really felt like this layout is going to work well for me without it being a full A5 size planner. Um, some do journaling and pictures. I doubt I'll be doing that. Mine will probably look more similar to something like this little check boxes and my work schedule highlighted and certain blocked areas for my meals and meal prep and meal planning and things like that. So it's a really great schedule. The other thing I love about it is how simple it is. So it has a nice book feel to it. Um, it's not just paper, it has like a leatherette feel, it has a really nice smell to it too. So one difference from 2023 is the date goes sideways this year. Last year's went horizontally. And there's a few more changes in here as well that I'll mention. So here's an overview of 2024 and 2025. Love the future log. It's a great way to put in the, the dates, important dates that you need to remember for the year. This is what I love. I love how simple this is. There's no quotes on the bottom. There's no extra fluff. 
I can just put what I need. It's actually gridded, so I can write in a straight line. Um, I plan to use the MU rub-ons so that I don't bulk this up too much. So I have an order of those coming in and I'll show you that setup video really soon. So these monthlies go all the way through January of 2025. And then for the rest of the book, this is what all the pages look like. So on each page, it's really nice because it has the actual date, the moon phase, has the date in English and Japanese, has, you can circle what the weather was like, and a little place where you can mark the temperatures as well. Again, here's those hours I was talking about, 4 a.m. to 4 a.m., so a full 24 hours. And then they have these nice little convenient dots. Let's see. So they have these dots here, so you can divide it up into four vertical columns on this page. And one, two, three. I think it's three dots on this one. Um, so you can have three sections by four sections. Really nice. And really, you can do anything you want because the grid is there. So you can divide up that grid however you like. So an interesting thing is right here. You'll notice it says 366 days. So this year is a leap year. So that caused a couple of changes for this planner for this year. So the first change, obviously, is that we have February 29th in this particular one. So that is the 60th day of 366 days in this year. But the other thing that that affects is back here. So last year, there were, um, I guess you could say four blank pages. There were two sets of two pages. So this year you only have two blank pages to do your testing for your inks or your ink test, pen test. Um, there's not an extra set of pages between December 31st and the back grid. And that's because they had to compensate for that extra day. So that's just one thing to keep in mind if you're wanting to do your ink test this year. Well, that was it. I just wanted to give a quick overview of what the Hibino 2024 looks like, what some of those changes are for this year if you're looking into it. Um, they still are available on Amazon Japan, and I believe there are a lot of U.S. retailers that are about to receive their stock, so you will be able to get these very soon. But more than likely, if you wait till October, November, December, like I did last year, they will probably be sold out by then. Um, last year, I want to say they only released it once last year, so... I don't know if that's the same plan for this year. So I'm glad I got mine. It does come in two colors, comes in brown, also comes in mint. Um, but this year I'm kind of going for an all camel look. I already have these items from Superior Labor that I thought it would look really good with, that I could pair it with this year. These of course are my little art tool kits that I carry. Oh, excuse my dust. Um, so, that's why I chose the brown. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you choose to get a Hibino this year. It's again by Midori, uh, Midori Hibino, and I hope you enjoy it.